A key part of preparing for Sam's installation was sending our head of installations around to do a technical and structural survey. Pretty much every installation, whether it be small domestic or large commercial, that Spirit Energy has done since the first install in 2010, has had a rigorous technical and structural survey from our head of installations, Justin. We've had loads of reviews that mention Justin's expertise and professionalism, and I'm yet to speak to any customers that aren't incredibly impressed with him and his work. A lot of installers will just turn up on the day and figure out the cable runs and kit locations then and there, but we just don't take that risk. All of our installations are done by our in-house team of installers that Justin has trained up himself. He's responsible for them all, and every time we don't get it right, he goes back to the site personally to fix the issue, even if it's at 9 p.m. on a Sunday. And believe me, Justin hates going back to site. The point of the tech survey is so that Justin can take a detailed look at the house and plan out the system to a very fine level of detail, as well as do a risk assessment for our health and safety so that our installers are safe on the day of the installation. He spends a lot of time in the loft, measuring up the roof space to ensure that the layout will fit as intended. Now we do take measurements earlier on when the salesperson does a survey, but he will often spot things that you need 15 years of experience actually installing solar and battery in order to spot. Justin also takes measurements as part of a structural survey. The measurements are then sent back to the project managers in the office, who prepare a full report which is then sent off to a third party structural surveying company that we've worked with for a very long time to guarantee that the roof is strong enough to take the weight of a solar system. A lot of installers don't do this, and I've had a few clients tell me that other installers have suggested they arrange a structural survey to be done if they want to have that level of security. We just don't like taking that risk with your roof. It's not just the weight of the panels, it's also the fact that if a strong wind gets under them, then they can rip the system off the roof. And obviously we want to make sure that that's not going to happen. Watch the earlier video on project management to learn more about the structural survey and what goes into it. Justin is a fully qualified electrician and he'll also take a look at the wiring of your house, including the electrical bonding and earthing. In Sam's case, everything is straightforward because it's a modern house. However, you often get older systems that need bonding upgrades prior to fitting solar and battery. As Sam is getting a Powerwall 3 that is capable of full house power cut protection, it needs to be fitted with an earth rod. Occasionally, there's an existing earth rod on site and Justin or one of our other electricians will check the earth fault loop impedance to make sure that the earth rod can be used and that we don't need to fit another one. In Sam's case, the only thing connected to the earth rod is an old style EV charging point. And the results of the earth fault loop impedance test showed that we could use the earth rod for the Powerwall 3. Justin also checks that the planned cable run and kit locations are suitable and optimal for the system. This is more relevant for ground mounts or large commercial systems which can often have very long cable runs and you do get serious voltage drops if the cables are suboptimally sized. Again, it's important to have someone with 15 years experience to look at the system in detail before installation and to make sure that the kit locations and cable runs are planned optimally and that the installation will run smoothly and safely. Justin's technical survey is very important to ensuring that the job runs efficiently and making sure that everything goes to plan. 